Whether you're playing Fallout 4 for the first time, or you've played it before and you just need a little refresher on what makes you special, today we're going to be taking a look at all 7 stats in detail and the various effects that come along with where you invest your points. So let's get ready to dive into some stats and get after it. The first stat we'll be taking a look at is Strength, which governs how much raw physical damage you do with melee style weapons. It also plays a crucial role in carry capacity in case you want to carry around a metric ton of antique globes, toy cars, and hubcaps. Each point that you invest into Strength increases melee damage by 10%, which is huge when combined with perks like Big Leagues, which increases your melee damage by 20% right out of the gate and a whopping 80% at rank 4. Even if you don't want to get up close and personal and hit everything in the face with a bat, every point that you push into strength also increases your carry capacity by 10, and it holds the key to some important perks like Armorer, which lets you modify and upgrade your apparel, and Strongback, which further increases the amount of stuff you can carry by quite a bit. Next up is Perception, which directly affects accuracy within your Vault-Tec Assisted Targeting System, or VATS, and indirectly affects pickpocketing and lockpicking attempts, as well as other perk benefits depending on which ones you choose. Every point you invest in Perception increases VATS accuracy by 3.1%. Just keep in mind that accuracy in VATS caps out at 95% and can't be pushed any higher. Even if you don't plan on using VATS, one of the most important perks that's buried within the Perception Tree is Locksmith, which gives you the ability to pick locks that you come across throughout the game as long as you have bobby pins. Nice. And if you plan on revolving a build around being a night stalking thief that can see in the dark, another interesting perk tied to Perception is Night Person, which not only increases your perception and intelligence, but it also grants you night vision while sneaking. Next is Endurance, which is one of the most important stats, especially if you plan on face tanking everything you come across or even running away from a fight. Endurance regulates your total hit points as well as the rate at which your action points or AP are burned while you're sprinting. If you want a beautiful mind how many hit points you're gaining per level based on your endurance, your hit points per level are equal to 2.5 hit points plus your endurance multiplied by 0.5. So for example, if your endurance is 7, you'll gain 6 hit points per level. The good news is, is that endurance is applied retroactively, which means that increasing it later on in the game still gives you all the hit points that you would have gained with the higher initial stat. When you look at the effect it has on sprinting, one endurance is equal to a default action point drain rate of 12 action points per second, with a reduction of 0.6 AP per second for every additional level of endurance. At 10 endurance, the drain rate is 6.6 .6 action points per second. Aside from all that gee whiz math, there are quite a few useful perks that are locked behind endurance, one of which is Aqua Boy, which eliminates radiation gained from swimming and allows you to breathe underwater, allowing you to discover some interesting interesting treasure under the sea. Next up is Charisma, which influences a few different game mechanics since it not only controls your ability to charm and convince others, but it also governs the price for buying and selling items when trading with merchants. Charisma also plays a crucial role in the maximum amount of settlers allowed in your settlement by adding your Charisma to a base amount of 10. So for example, if your Charisma is 5, your maximum settler count would be 15. As far as speech checks are concerned, your chance of success is actually based on your charisma multiplied by 15% minus the speech check difficulty modifier. For example, if you're in dialogue and need to make a speech check where the icon is yellow, the difficulty modifier is minus 35%. In some cases, the text will turn orange, which is minus 50%, and then finally red, which is the highest difficulty modifier of minus 65%. When looking at getting the best possible price for offloading all the junk you've collected, the higher your charisma becomes, the more caps you gain from selling items, and the less you'll have to pay for them, making bartering extremely lucrative. If you're less about the Benjamins and more about the wet work, there's an interesting perk locked behind charisma called Lady Killer or Black Widow, which makes you more effective against the opposite sex in combat by increasing damage by 15% at rank 3, as well as making it much easier to persuade them in dialogue and increases the ability to pacify them through the use of the Intimidation perk. Next we have Intelligence, which unlike previous games has no direct effect on skills. Instead its major draw is the 3% increase in experience gained from all sources with each point that you invest, which is fairly significant when you're looking at the big picture. A higher intelligence also reduces the number of words that are displayed when hacking a terminal in order to unlock doors or uncover information. 
It also holds a bunch of useful perks like Gun Nut, which allows you to make modifications to your weapons, and science for those special weapon modifications that might be from another planet. Next up is Agility, which is a measure of your overall fitness and reflexes, and it affects the total number of action points and VATs, as well as your ability to sneak. For every point you invest in Agility, you gain 10 additional action points, as well as a 1% direct increase to your pickpocketing chance. Agility also determines how hard you are to detect while you're sneaking, but it really gets interesting with perks like Mr. Sandman, which increases damage when using silenced weapons, and the ability to instantly kill sleeping human targets. Finally, we come to Luck, which determines the overall recharge rate of your critical hit meter. So when you really need that critical hit to save your skin, hopefully Lady Luck is on your side. Luck also indirectly improves the rate at which you find caps in the wild or ammo when you really need it. One of the best perks you can grab for the luck tree is called Critical Banker, which allows you to bank additional critical hits and vats and saves them for a rainy day. Armed with this information and a few guns, you should be able to slap together a sweet build and turn a few death claws into a pile of ash. And as always, good hunting.